Gold Extraction, The Techniques You Didn't Know 1. From Rock to Gold, The Science Behind Extraction Gold is rarely found in its pure, metallic form within nature. Instead, it is locked deep within the Earth's crust, trapped inside veins of quartz, or disseminated in complex sulfide minerals. The journey from a solid piece of rock to shimmering gold metal begins with understanding the nature of its geological host. Geologists first classify gold deposits into two broad types, freemilling ores and refractory ores. In freemilling ores, gold particles are liberated easily by simple crushing and grinding. This allows the metal to be recovered through physical methods such as gravity concentration or amalgamation. However, in refractory ores, gold is chemically bound to other minerals like pyrite or arsenopyrite, making extraction far more complex. The process begins with crushing and grinding, where large rocks are broken down into fine particles. This step increases the surface area of the ore, enabling better contact with chemicals or physical separation methods. In traditional mining, stamp mills were once used to pulverize ore. Today, sophisticated ball and sag mills achieve micron-level fineness, a crucial factor for efficient gold recovery. After grinding, the material undergoes concentration, the stage where the valuable mineral is separated from the waste rock. Gravity-based methods like sluice boxes, shaking tables, and centrifugal concentrators exploit the high density of gold, which is almost 19 times heavier than water. These systems allow gold to settle while lighter minerals are washed away. However, not all gold responds to gravity. In complex ores, chemical reactions become essential. Flotation, for example, uses surfactants and air bubbles to attach to sulfide minerals that often host gold. The resulting froth, rich in valuable particles, is skimmed off for further processing. Before the extraction continues, sample analysis becomes critical. Modern laboratories employ techniques like fire assay, which involves melting or samples with fluxes to separate precious metals, or X-ray diffraction, XRD, to determine mineral composition. Advanced instruments like ICPMS, inductively coupled plasma mass spectrometry, can detect even trace amounts of gold, guiding metallurgists toward the most efficient recovery route. In essence, gold extraction is not merely about mining, it is a complex blend of geology, chemistry, and physics. Each step, from identifying the type of or to choosing the optimal extraction pathway, reflects the evolving science behind one of humanity's oldest obsessions, transforming stone into treasure. 2. Beyond Mercury and Cyanide, Alternative Extraction Methods For centuries, the extraction of gold relied heavily on two notorious substances, mercury and cyanide. While both proved highly effective, they also left behind a devastating environmental legacy. Rivers contaminated, soils poisoned, and wildlife destroyed, these were the costs of humankind's obsession with the yellow metal. Yet, in recent decades, Scientists and engineers have begun to challenge these age-old methods, developing innovative techniques that extract gold with less harm and greater efficiency. The most well-known alternative is the thiosulfate leaching process. Unlike cyanide, thiosulfate is non-toxic and environmentally benign. It works by forming a soluble complex with gold ions, allowing the metal to be separated from the ore. This technique gained attention when researchers discovered that certain ores resistant to cyanidation could yield high recoveries through thiosulfate. One landmark example came from the Barrick Gold Company, which successfully implemented the process in Nevada, proving that industrial-scale, cyanide-free gold extraction was possible. Another fascinating method is bioleaching, or biological oxidation. This approach harnesses the natural power of microorganisms, particularly bacteria such as Acidithiobacillus ferrooxidans, to break down sulfide minerals and liberate trapped gold particles. In simple terms, bacteria digest the minerals, exposing the gold to further processing. While bioleaching is slower than chemical methods, it requires minimal energy and no toxic reagents, making it ideal for low-grade or complex ores. Its success has turned mining tailings, once considered waste, into valuable new sources of gold. 
In recent years, researchers have also explored the potential of glycine leaching, a promising new technology based on an amino acid that naturally occurs in living organisms. Glycine forms stable, water-soluble complexes with gold under mild alkaline conditions. It is biodegradable, easy to recycle, and operates at lower temperatures and pressures than traditional leaching agents. Early trials have shown that glycine can extract gold even from refractory ores, potentially revolutionizing the industry's approach to sustainable metallurgy. Beyond these three main alternatives, scientists are testing other methods on the frontier of green chemistry, ionic liquids, deep eutectic solvents, and even supercritical fluids. These advanced materials offer precise control over chemical reactions, reducing waste and maximizing recovery. Some experimental systems can even selectively extract gold from electronic waste, a growing source of secondary gold resources, without generating toxic byproducts. The move away from mercury and cyanide marks a profound shift in mining philosophy. What was once purely a mechanical or chemical challenge is now a moral and environmental mission. The new generation of metallurgists seeks not only to recover gold efficiently but also to restore balance between profit and planet. These emerging methods represent more than scientific progress, they symbolize a reimagining of how humanity interacts with one of Earth's most coveted elements. 3. Future of Gold Extraction, Green Technologies and Innovation The history of gold extraction has always mirrored the evolution of human ingenuity. From ancient panning in riverbeds to modern cyanide leaching, every era has redefined how we separate gold from the earth. Yet today, the industry stands at another turning point, a transformation driven not by greed or expansion, but by sustainability, technology, and innovation. The future of gold extraction is no longer measured solely by how much gold can be produced, but by how responsibly it can be obtained. At the forefront of this revolution are green technologies, designed to minimize environmental impact without sacrificing efficiency. Among the most promising advances are nanotechnology-based systems, which use specially engineered nanoparticles to selectively bind with gold ions. These particles act like molecular magnets, capturing gold from solutions that were previously too dilute or complex to process. Once the gold is absorbed, it can be easily recovered by changing the chemical conditions, leaving behind almost no toxic residue. Another breakthrough lies in the realm of electronic waste recycling. Every discarded smartphone, circuit board, and computer chip contains traces of gold, tiny yet significant when multiplied across billions of devices. Traditional recycling methods often rely on harsh acids or smelting, but new extraction systems use biochemical and electrochemical methods to dissolve and recover gold with minimal energy consumption. This approach not only prevents pollution but also transforms urban waste into a rich new urban mine. In parallel, artificial intelligence, AI, and data analytics are beginning to reshape how mining operations function. Machine learning algorithms can predict or grades, optimize chemical usage, and monitor environmental parameters in real time. This means less waste, reduced reagent consumption, and a smaller carbon footprint. Autonomous drones and sensor-based monitoring systems allow continuous surveillance of mine sites, ensuring safety and sustainability standards are maintained. Equally significant are innovations in water and energy management. Traditional gold extraction is heavily water-intensive, but researchers are now developing closed-loop systems that recycle process water, dramatically reducing consumption. Solar and hydrogen-powered equipment is also emerging as a viable alternative to fossil fuels in remote mining regions, cutting greenhouse gas emissions without compromising productivity. The concept of sustainable mining is also expanding beyond technology, it is becoming a philosophy. Future gold extraction will likely prioritize circular economy principles, where every output, tailings, waste rock, or process water, is reused or repurposed. Some companies are already experimenting with phytomining, where specific plants absorb trace amounts of gold from soil and are later harvested and processed to recover the metal. Though still experimental, this method embodies the ideal of harmony between nature and industry.
Ultimately, the future of gold extraction will depend on a delicate balance between economic necessity and ecological responsibility. As global demand for gold persists, driven by technology, investment, and culture, the world's approach to obtaining it must evolve. The next generation of mining will be defined not by the roar of machinery, but by the quiet precision of science, sustainability, and innovation. Humanity's enduring fascination with gold may remain unchanged, but the way we extract it will reflect a new kind of wealth, one measured not in ounces, but in wisdom.